Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear friends, 42 years ago, our people triumphed in a great popular revolution. Unlike similar uprisings in world history, our Islamic revolution succeeded without reliance on any external power or the leadership of any armed group. Iranian people's hundred-year-long quest to determine their own destiny and establish accountable rule came to fruition in spite of all odds, including outside plotting and through a sole reliance on people power. We have come a long way since, and we do not relent in striving towards achieving our ideals. Among our key achievements is the harnessing of the talents and capabilities of our own people. This has allowed us to develop the most in extensive local industrial base and homegrown scientific and technological prowess. We have achieved this and much more in the face of the longest and most extensive campaign of economic terrorism in recent history. Not even the COVID-19 pandemic compelled the previous US regime to seize its lawless assault on ordinary Iranians. Donald Trump betted on the myth that Iran is a nation that can be forced to choose between collapse and submission. We have all seen the outcome of that bet. But Trump was not the first nor the second, but in fact, the seventh consecutive US president who has made and lost the exact same wager. With the new administration in Washington, there is an opportunity to try a new approach, but the current window is fleeting. Soon, my government will be compelled to take further remedial action in response to the American and European dismal failure to live up to their commitment under the nuclear deal. This remedial action, as directed by our parliament and in accordance with our rights within the JCPOA, entails an enhancement of our nuclear program and a reduction in our cooperation with IAEA inspectors. It can be averted only if the United States decides to learn from Trump's maximum failure rather than lean on it. Iran has time and again proven its readiness for engagement and cooperation towards shared goals and objectives with our neighbors. Our consistent aim in all our endeavors has been to build a more stable, peaceful, and prosperous region and we have proposed initiatives in this regard. I hope that our neighbors will have learned that they cannot bank on outsiders to provide them with security. We need to rely on each other, as geography promises that we will remain neighbors forever. We Iranians do what we say, and most importantly, we always keep our word. On the anniversary of our revolution, I reiterate Iran's invitation to make use of the current window of opportunity to embrace dialogue and do away with the futile hostility towards the Iranian people. Thank you.